Hello, this is Cannon from NFT Art Generator, and today I'm excited to go over the four types of NFT minting contracts we offer and how you can go about deploying your own NFT collection with us. The big contract features we currently offer include minting, airdropping, mint now reveal later, and whitelisted presales. We have many more features lined up to bring to you guys soon. To learn more about using our 10,000 NFT art generation tool, you can check out our other videos or head to nft-generator.art to try it for yourself. After you've either generated your collection with us or generated your own images, you can log in with MetaMask to access your account dashboard. Here you can view the projects and collections you have created. In the top left, you can create a new empty project. You can name it. Click create. This will create and open a mini dashboard for your project. In this dashboard, you can add modules. Here are all the available modules, including hosting a page, which you can have a minting button on, using our whitelist manager, which is coming out soon, and the one we're focusing on, which is creating a smart contract for your collection. You can click the plus icon right here to add it. You will now be prompted to decide what network you want to launch on. I'll be doing the test network for Ethereum. You'll choose a contract type, which I'm about to go over, and choose which collection you want to deploy. I'll use this one I've already made. I'm now going to go over the minting contracts in order of complexity. The more complex the contract, the more expensive it is to deploy it to the blockchain. Once you have generated a collection, which can be done through our generator, there's no cost to deploy besides gas fees. We currently support the Ethereum and Polygon networks. Polygon is an extremely cheap option, while Ethereum will require a much larger investment. We do, however, have a 4.9% commission fee taken upon the minting of NFTs. It is a very generous offering as our competitors take a hefty 10% and a skilled developer likely more. As you'll see, our wider range of quality features makes us an easy choice. As you'll notice, all of the contracts involve lazy minting. So what is lazy minting? Lazy minting means the customer gets to mint the NFT to their own wallet through a minting button, which we supply, which you can embed in your website or have on a custom page on our platform. The first contract is simple with just lazy minting. The images are saved to IPFS and upon deploying, you get access to the features of an embedded minting button, opening and closing the sale, and also changing the price of the NFTs. The second contract, Lazy Minting plus Reveal Later, includes all the features of the first contract. In addition to that, it includes the Reveal Later feature, which allows them to mint the NFT, have a placeholder image, which you get to supply through our platform, and then at a given time, you get to open up the reveal and allow everyone to see the NFTs they have minted. The third type, Lazy Minting plus Presale, which is a whitelist, includes all the features of the first one plus the pre-sale feature. It does not include the reveal later feature. What this pre-sale is, is you get to supply a list of approved addresses, which you can then open a pre-sale for, and those addresses are allowed to mint a certain number of NFTs, which you set through our platform. The last one, lazy minting plus pre-sale plus reveal later includes all of the features above. We're going to do that one, and I'm going to show you all the features in action. So then I'm just going to click continue, click OK, and get started. In step one, we apply the collection metadata. So there's the collection size, which is predetermined by the collection I chose, the collection name I get to set, the collection description, the website it points to, and the name of each NFT. Then I can just click continue and go on to step two. In step two, we're going to upload to IPFS. So anything I did before cannot be changed once this is done because it's actually being uploaded. So I'm going to click upload and be patient while it uploads to IPFS. After a little while, it'll move on to step three, which is deploying the contract to the network. All I have to do is put in a symbol that I want my contract to have for the tokens, the minting cost in Ethereum, and whether or not I want to allow minting immediately. I'm going to keep this off. I can check out the contract if I want, and then I can click Confirm. 
agree to the terms and conditions, and deploy my smart contract. And click confirm here. And the contract will be deploying. After 10 to 15 seconds, your contract will have deployed and you now have access to step four, which includes the minting button. You can embed this minting button into the website of your choice and check out your smart contract code. I'm gonna click continue to go to interacting with the contract. The smart contract management page is arguably the most important page in the entire tool as this allows you to interact with your smart contract and to perform many of these activities. So I'm gonna go over them in the order I would if I was to actually launch this whitelisted reveal later uh, minting co smart contract for a real collection. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is to set my hidden image. So I can click here, choose a file, and then click upload. And then that will be the image that appears when people mint and it will stay that way until I click the reveal switch up here. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is to try airdropping one of the NFTs to myself using the airdrop function. So all I would have to do is type my address here in one line and click airdrop and the NFT will arrive in my address and I can check it on OpenSea. And it should have the hidden image cause I've just applied that. After confirming the airdrop worked as I intended, I'm then gonna move on to setting up the pre-sale. So for the pre-sale, I'm going to need a list of all the addresses I want to whitelist. At putting one address per line, I'm going to put them in here all at the same time and click apply whitelist. I can add more later, but that's going to take another gas transaction to apply. To summarize, I've now set the hidden image. I've now tested the airdrop works correctly and I'm getting the correct image of the correct collection. And I've now set up all the addresses that are ready for the pre-sale. I can then head up to here and set the minting rules that I want, including the max per wallet, which is how many one wallet can hold, the max per mint, which is how many one wallet can purchase at a time, the cost of an NFT in Ethereum for this blockchain, and I can view the overall supply and total supply here as well, along with the balance in the contract. So once I've set the cost and the max per mint and the max per wallet for the presale, I can then head up to here and open the pre-sale. It'll be a quick transaction. The switch will toggle and then if I go back to this minting button and I copy this code, this will now have the whitelist applied and it will be open for minting for those who have the pre-sale address whitelisted. After the pre-sale period is over, I can choose to close the pre-sale by toggling this switch. And after a few moments, the whitelisted presale will close. I then have the opportunity to change the cost again, the max per mint, the max per wallet, to whatever parameters I want them to be for the real sale, which is the public sale. And then I can go back up here and open it up to the public sale. And in just a few moments, the sale is now open. Anyone who has access to this minting button can now mint the NFT. Then a day or two later, or whenever your reveal date is, you can click on the reveal switch, complete the transaction, and now all of the NFTs will have switched from that hidden image that I set previously to their real metadata with their new artwork, which you have created. Once this is done, if people want to reveal their NFT as soon as possible, they can click the refresh icon on OpenSea to the refresh the metadata. So that is a brief summary of all the features which are in our contracts. As of right now, there are many more features we plan to add in the future, so stick around. Once I've finished my sale period or whenever I like, I can click withdraw here to collect the funds to the wallet I created this contract through and then use those funds to help support the project and carry out the promises and vision. With many more features lined up to come out soon, make sure to stick around and get updates by subscribing to this YouTube channel, joining our Discord in the description, and following our Twitter in the description. Until next time, I hope you find our tools very helpful.